Welcome to Biology with Deepika and in this video we will be learning about mycoplasma. So let's see what are the characteristic features, its structure, its reproduction and the diseases caused by mycoplasma. This is a very interesting organism. We will learn more about it. So first we will go up to the characteristic of mycoplasma. Mycoplasma are the smallest known prokaryotic organisms characterized by absence of cell wall. This is the first characteristic we should know about mycoplasma. They are absence of cell wall. They have, uh, here we can see in this picture, they have trilamellar uh, cellular membrane three layered cellular membrane but they have no cell wall there is no peptidoglycan in its cell wall and they are the smallest known prokaryotic organisms they are unicellular prokaryotic non-motile and highly pleomorphic organisms we will learn more about uh, in this video why they are called pleomorphic why what make them pleomorphic the next characteristic is the mycoplasma belong to the order mycoplasma tells of class molecules of bacterial classification. Nocut and rocks in 1898, they are the French scientists who discovered a new type of organism from the cattle disease of bovine pleuronemonia. They were pleomorphic and were called PPLO or pleuronemonia like organisms. They were later called pleuronemonia-like organisms, but first they uh, knocked and rocks when they found from the cattle disease, they called it bovine pleuronemonia. Then we, it might come across in our mind a question, why it is called bovine? Bovine comes from the Latin word for cow, though the biological family called the bovida, actually includes not only cows and oxen, but also goats, sheep, bison, and buffalo. So bovine is used technically when discussing bovine diseases. Now, as it belongs, as cow belongs, cow and other sheep, goats all belong to the family bovida. It is called bovine. This organism was later given on name Asterococcus, mycoids by Borel et al. The term mycoplasma was used by Nowak in 1929 and he placed them in the genus mycoplasma. So Nowak gave the term mycoplasma. It is very important in point of view of exams and he placed them in the genus mycoplasma. They are filtrable through bacterial filters and lack cell wall. That's why they are not bacteria, because they are filtrable through bacterial filters. They are resistant to antibiotic penicillin, which act on cell wall, but inhibited by tetracycline and similar antibiotics, which act on metabolic pathway. They are resistant to antibiotic penicillin, because as they lack the lack cell wall, that peptidoglycan coat is absent. So when penicillin act on that, it, uh, in, it in, in interferes in the metabolic pathway of the cell and that's why they are resistant to antibiotic penicillin. Erythromycin and clarithromycin are more frequently used to treat atypical pneumonia which is caused by mycoplasma and they are better tolerated by erythromycin. Tetracycline are preferable if there is central nervous system involvement. Mycoplasma are known as jokers of the plant kingdom. They may be parasitic or saprophytic. Let's come to the term what is parasitis, para, parasitic and what are saprophytic. Parasitism means it is a relationship between two species in which one benefits at the expense of the other, sometimes without killing the organism. We might take the example of lice in human beings, uh, in head of human beings, and fleas and ticks which leave on dog and cats, and all viruses are parasitic in nature. And saprophytic, the term, uh, it is the in this type, the organisms obtain the food from dead matter. 
for example mycorrhizal fungi mushroom mold etc for example we can take another example mycoplasma galliseptikum is the smallest prokaryote they are saprophytes and cause diseases like pleuro pneumonia in domestic animals and little leaf or brinzel in plants we we'll, then we will go to the structure of mycoplasma mycoplasma are unicellular prokaryotic organisms they are smaller than viruses they have a diameter of 300 nanometer to 0 to 0.022 to microns they lack cell wall peptidoglycan as they lack the cell wall the peptidoglycan coat which is present in the cell wall is also absent in mycoplasma rather surrounded by a typical trilamellar unit membrane structure here we can see they have the cellular membrane which has three layered cellular membrane the lack of cell wall makes this organism pleomorphic they can show different shapes like pericle granular filamentous coccoid etc because they don't have a cell wall the protoplasmic matrix consists of ribosomes fatty substances and proteins protoplasm of mycoplasma has single stranded rna and long coiled double stranded dna this is very important in point of view of exams the mycoplasma has both they have both single stranded rna and double stranded dna which is found throughout the protoplasm it is very long and it consists throughout the protoplasm the amount of rna and dna in this organisms is less than half of that found in other prokaryotes then we will move on to reproduction in mycoplasma four types of cellular bodies have been found in mycoplasma led we in mycoplasma led we the reproduction is studied and we can found four type of cellular bodies elementary secondary tertiary and quaternary cell bodies elementary bodies reproduce by a process similar to budding like budding they reproduce this grow in size and then again give rise to elementary bodies a process similar to binary fission occurs here then we will know why mycoplasma is known as the intermediate between bacteria and viruses mycoplasma can pass through bacteriological filter and do not possess a typical bacterial cell wall so these two factors confirms that these are not bacteria these organisms can multiply in medium which contains non living tissue so as virus can multiply only in the living tissue so they are not viruses either so mycoplasma are known to be intermediate between bacteria and viruses then we will move on to diseases caused by mycoplasma um, plant diseases caused by mycoplasma are asteriolose potato witch broom disease mulberry dwarf bunchy top of papaya and little leaf of brinzel these are the diseases plant diseases caused by mycoplasma and potato witch broom disease and bunchy top of banana are very important in point of view of examinations it usually comes potato witch broom disease bunchy top then we will move on to animal diseases caused by mycoplasma primary atypical pneumonia is caused by mycoplasma this is known as atypical because in this type of pneumonia this type of pneumonia is different from normal type of pneumonia it is usually more serious then neuromatism arthritis is caused by mycoplasma and mycoplasma hominis and mycoplasma fermentis cause infertility in males in human males and mad cow disease uh, or otherwise known as bovine spongiform encephalopathy is caused by mycoplasma sometimes we might found um, cows or other animals move like out of madness in the road that is not they are behaving badly actually they are they have they have the disease caused by mycoplasma in them that's why they behave mad and that disease is known as mad cow disease or bovine spongiform encephalopathy so this is all about mycoplasma hope you like my video thank you for watching my video and do like share and comment and please subscribe my video if you like it thank you so much